same for sex on a college campus? You don't think so? Okay, let's talk about absence very quickly. What does absence mean? What does it mean to you? It means not involving yourself in any sexual activity, um, including things that don't require penetration, so oral or whatever. Hey, she done cut out a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> but that's cool. I'm glad you said that. Does uh, abstinence mean something different to anyone else? Sometimes it's different for people, though, right? Yes. Like, yes. So, like some people would be like, mm -hmm. just like, they're abstaining from sex, but they might do or, or they might do something else, you know what right. I mean? So, right. Yeah. Right. Right. And I'm glad she said that. I'm glad you're making the, the thing. Because if you get with someone you want to be with, and let's say they say, you know what, I don't mind mutually masturbating, or I can finger and you can jerk, whatever, but it's not penetration. As you said, there's no, it's not going in my mouth, in my ear, in my ass, in my vagina. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Again, I'm just saying. <laughs> whatever you're into, I'm just saying. So, but I'm saying, so for that, if you know that you aren't going to be able to transmit any of those four fluids in the way that you are being sexually active, then for you and your partner, that may be okay. But there has to be that communication and that discussion to go, you know what, I don't want to have penetration, but I don't mind talking you into a frenzy. You know, or kissing. Some, some, some people kissing may not be good. Because they know if they kiss, they hit that one spot, legs start shaking. And again, it leads to other things. So if you know that, then kissing may not be your thing. You're like, I gotta hold your hand and we gotta just keep it down here. There's one little touch of the ear, you know, everything's off. <laughs> right. And I, I don't know what y'all call it. Y'all don't call it dry humping anymore, do you? Clothes burning. Who does? <laughs> that is a clothes burning? Clothes burning. Oh, that's okay. That's middle school. That's middle. So, uh, that's middle school. Okay, that's middle school. So. Okay, but that's good, though. What'd you say? What'd you say? What kind of say? Dry sex. Okay. Okay, dry sex. Okay. Now, when you're talking about those things, one of the good things about college students is that hopefully some of you have had either some adults in your life, whether it's your parents or other guardians or aunts, uncles, or friends, to tell you about sex. It's very important that you know about sex, human sexuality, and all of those different things. There's two things that you need to do. If you don't go to the doctor, there's two other things that you should do if you've never been to a doctor before. Self-exam? Yeah. Self-exam. What do you mean by that? Okay, okay. So looking at myself, if this is a mirror, I'm looking at myself. Okay, okay. So you're looking at, so you're looking at yourself what? New. Okay. And okay. Now for females, for breast exams. Where are the two places that are the best to do that? In the shower. One in the shower, and then where's the other place? Laying in the bed. Why the shower? Let's go for that one first. Because. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. I mean, he's not wrong. You're already naked. What's the next reason? Because they're all sexy and stuff. They're all sexy and stuff. Okay. Okay, but I mean, that's, that's getting there, but what's another reason? What does a suds do? What does the water do? It relaxes you. Relax. Exactly. It relaxes you. So you can just feel around. If you have larger breasts, you pick it up, you feel around. I mean, seriously, you have to feel yourself to do this. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna talk about that in a second. And then when you're laying down, why is it laying down another way to do that? Okay, this is common show. But yeah, it's true. When you're laying down, you're flat, gravity's pulling it to you, so you can feel your chest. Okay, now, what's the other exam you should be doing, ladies? But she said, that's it. And what does that mean? Okay. And then you get the mirror and you do what? You look, and that means you have to do what to yourself? Ooh, very good. Good. Very good. And you're touching yourself on any on a regular day. Not a mass and gill day. Not when you spray whatever y'all spray to smell fruity. You should know what you smell like on a good day. And on a bad day. So that when you're walking around campus, somebody will go, girl. Right? 
They should know, again, you're touching yourself, you're smelling yourself, mm -mm, today's a good day. Right? And then you should know if you're pretty in pink, if you're a little brown, if your lips are, don't worry, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> but you need to know that, right? Okay. You said you're pretty in pink, no! <laughs> oh, you got that, you're just getting it now. <laughs> Alright, so now, <laughs> for the guys, okay, what exam should we do? Test these. Test these. Where should you do that? Yeah, Why in the shower? Then hang with them. <laughs> How many balls do we have, guys? <laughs> yeah, some of them may have one, depending on But you know you have two, two gumball. Okay, now, but again, if you don't know what your scrotum feels like and what your balls feel like, you may get scared because one may feel like a golf ball. I mean, not a golf ball, a gum ball. So if you have big balls like that, you need to know that you have big balls. So that if one is much bigger than the other, you're like, what's going on? Okay? You need so to know. Out. Right, no need to And some may not be, I'm not saying they're both exactly the same. One may be a little bit larger than the other, but that's okay. You need to know that. You also need to know, guys, you need to do the same thing as in sit down, look at yourself. You need to know if you're uncircumcised or circumcised. You know what that means, right, guys? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what does it mean? <laughs> no forcing. Again, with that, if you are uncircumcised and you do have your foreskin, again, in washing yourself, you need to pull your skin all the way back and clean the head of your penis and make sure that's always clean. So what I wanted to make sure is that you know is that all these self-exams and all of these things are very important for your own development. If you're going to be sexually active, you're not going to abstain. And you already know that. What are the tools that you can use to keep yourself safe if you're going to have any course? Condoms. What type of condoms are the best to use? Lasers. What other condoms are on the market? Lasers. And what else? One more. Plastic. plastic. Okay, very good. Plastic. Polyurethane plastic. And some people are allergic to latex. You're saying, how does he know all this? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, okay. But that's good. I mean, some people are allergic to latex, so they would have to use the plastic condoms. All of the three are available at Walmart, Walgreens, all the department stores are available and, you know, gas stations or whatever. You don't want to use the lambskin condoms because they have pores and they will allow you to share what? The fluids. And those four fluids, again, you don't want blood, semen, vaginal secretions, and breast milk. Again, the breast milk shouldn't be coming out you know, of a condom so that we can go away. But you got blood, semen, vaginal secretions that you would worry about. Okay, <laughs> treat your condoms like you treat your food, your music, your clothes. Make sure you get the brand that you like. So that means go to the store. Look and see. For the guys, again, I'm sorry dudes, we don't all need magnums. We all don't have big penises. Okay, it's nice to get the gold pack and, and, and fake it, but what would you rather do? Have a big one, then have them look at it and go, you don't need that. Or you get one that you know fits. I always tell people, make it a group of it. Go to the adult bookstore if you want. I mean, most of the times, the regular brands they have in the store, small, medium, large, extra large, will fit in that category. But you've got to spend your money to figure out who you are and how you fit that. Again, if you go to adult bookstores, they have other verbiage on there. Pencil dick, King Kong, you know, stumpy, something. So you know if you're short and stumpy and thick, that's me. I'm going to get it. Okay? And so those are things you need to know for yourselves because then they will work for you. And unfortunately, right now, if we don't start with our youth and explaining how to use things properly, they're not going to use it once they get your age. And once you're in your 20s, you've already started going, I'm not using that, because you're going to think you're invincible, one. Two, you're not really used to it. And I don't know how you all deal with sex on campus. So if you're trying to get it in between classes or before someone else comes, you, before your roommate gets in, you try to do things kind of quick. So one, you're not really enjoying yourselves. Sex, you should be enjoying yourselves.